Hello everybody, you're here with Rambo and this is Rambo's Tips and today I am doing a uh, PEZ 2019 review. I've got a distinguished guest with me today, absolute beast on PEZ, absolute legend, already rated 830 on my club, great player of the game, real, uh, real knowledgeable guy. I'm here with the Suns. How's it going people? Uh, so, Sons, you've been playing the game like myself for absolutely years. Uh, in the background, we are going to have some gameplay with me and Sons. I want you to know this is just friendly gameplay. Uh, if it was serious, I would be giving him a on, subscribe come on. as a beatdown. It, it, it it, it's never friendly between it, you and I, my friend. <laughs> it is always friendly, brother. Always friendly, brother. Right, so um, the first thing I'm going to quickly do is I'm quickly going to just tell you the teams we're using. These are our pen teams. Uh, we both play on a network called Provo Network. Uh, where you basically get a chance to build your own team. As you can see, his team is significantly better than mine, which is going to account for uh, me losing this game if I do lose this game. Uh, so... <laughs> Already get... the excuses are coming in, people. Yeah, man. you got to get, get that fucking disclaimer out there, haven't you? Uh, the worst thing about this is you're going to see all my dirty tactics back on the, uh, back on the video, uh, which, uh, yeah, because uh, we don't fuck about here, being honest with you. Right, so let's get over to the review. Um, first impression, Sons, what did you think of the game? Uh, love it. Absolutely love the additional animations that are coming through in the gameplay. Uh, fan of all the little touches, little skill moves, and to see them advance even further from 2018, it's uh, definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, initial impressions of that, uh, when I first picked up the game, I thought the pace was slower but now that I've got at least 100 150 games played I suggest that it's it's not as slow as people first uh, thought you know yes um, weird isn't it you know what the f strange thing is with the pace aspect is that everyone I've spoke to has had a different opinion on it some people are like yeah it's quicker some people are like yeah it's slower and for me that only means one thing and that is that you can play slower if you want to play slower and you can play quicker if you want to play quicker absolutely um i generally on this game, I've seen, I've played a bit of possession football on it, but generally, uh, because I've been playing my club, I have gone straight to counter attacking, grab people by the throat, and just destroy them, and obviously try and score as many goals as I can, you know. Um, it's funny you mentioned counter attack, uh, Rambo, because uh, I do feel as if that playstyle currently edges a possession based playstyle. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, no, I agree. I, I think uh, counter-attacking is going to be strong this year. But um, it'll be interesting to see. I have lost a couple of games online to uh, possession players. So, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see what happens. I think when you get a goal up, you can keep the ball pretty pretty well, uh, which is one thing. Well, one thing that I'm really impressed with this year is the physics, the ball physics, the way that the ball moves, the swerve, the little bounces, even the way the ball spins. And... Uh, for those watching now, as you can see, I am actually playing on Blimpview, which is... Um, I quite like Blimpview, being honest with you. Some people don't. Um, I know Sunzi's not an advocate of it. Sunzi likes to play... Uh, you play default, do you, Sons? I play, yeah, default. Well, I play wide, dynamic wide. So I'm not sure if that's still the default or if that's changed. But, yeah, uh, I, th I think yeah, wide's a the wide default, is it? Yeah, yeah I, 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 what, what do you think of the ball physics, Sons? Because for me, I, I, I love them, honestly, mate. Every time I see that little ball bouncing along the ground, it just think, it just looks so natural and so real. It looks like an object. I think that's the best way to kind of say it. Whereas... Yeah, it feels like there's weight on it. It feels like it's... Yeah, man, it, yeah. It, it's, it's weight. It's not, it's, it's, not, it's not hollow and light. And it feels as if, depending on the strength of the pass, it, it can feel as if... Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah I, I completely get what you mean about the physics. I think you get what you mean about the physics. Sorry, I've just it. lost my train of thought because I was coming through with Lanzini. Yeah, well... Um, yeah. But yeah, no, apologies. Back to the physics. Uh, they're noticeable. Uh, you do feel as if uh, there is weight on the pass when making various various different types of passes, you know? I'm going to give you the, the replay bounces. on this Love goal. the way it spins as well. Love the way it spins as well. Mm, Yuga Bear got caught out there, look. Yeah, I, I think I think when that goal is one of the things we're talking about is um, counter-attacking football. That obviously... Uh, my defensive line's too high there and I just got caught out. And I, Obviously, if I wasn't talking, I would have seen that through ball all day long. Um, and it, it, this is one of the things, this is why most uh, top, top players, players just sit in the bedroom all day 
I was talking to no one, uh, which is what sons would normally do if I hadn't released him from his uh, from his bedroom. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, have you played Master League, sons? Or are you not bothered with it? Uh, I haven't played it this year, no. But I often uh, start to take a look at it once the you know the option files have come out and uh, the transfers are done. At the moment, the windows just closed in real life, and I am expecting, anticipating even. Uh, Another transfer patch to update all the teams, and then yeah, maybe I will look into it. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I think uh, one of the things that uh, Pez really is losing behind is the game modes. Um, I think this is one thing that kind of does need to be addressed long term. They, they, they're getting better. They are getting better. Um, and obviously, we'll, we'll go and speak more in depth about uh, my club at a later date. We are going to do a my club review. We're both well, playing my club. Just to interrupt year, so. you, Rambo. You talk about modes. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too bothered about the number of modes in the game. But what I would like is the modes that are in the game to be a bit more meatier, you know, a bit more comprehensive, a bit more substantial. I don't mind if there aren't as many modes as uh, let's let's not beat around the bush FIFA, you know. But um, the modes that they do have, if they're refined, then I've got no problem with that. But I think that's where that's where the problem lies, and that. The modes that we do have are still somewhat lacking, you know, in uh, quality. One one thing that I've heard a lot of people speak about, something that I haven't myself ever played, is Master League Online. Um, and I think it's something going back from years and years and years ago. Um, I obviously used to just play with the lads battered on a Friday night. Uh, I never actually got a chance to play Master League Online, but some people did. And I, I think that the thing about it was, uh, I think it's something that I would love to see back in the game. Building your own team, like... As good as my club is, you know, as much fun as you can have, you never feel like you're really building a team because, you know, you're spinning a fucking ball. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Klopp, when Klopp buys a player, he doesn't uh, get, like, 500 people, put them in a hat, and then fucking spin a ball. Do you know what I mean? He, he decides that he needs a left, uh, maybe a left-footed right midfielder with pinpoint crossing who can cut in. And then, you know, he, he, he scouts and he, he tries to buy them. And I, that's the problem with, for, for me is that... My club just feels unrealistic, and I think that that's a problem that the game has got. Gameplay-wise, though, they have made an absolutely incredible football game here, haven't they? I mean, if you're watching this now, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the connection of this game uh, between me and Sons uh, is flawless. The connect They've improved the connection year on year. Um, obviously, there, were, there have been issues in the past with connection. Um, it seems to have improved. As long as you do everything that you, you can do, open your ports, uh, set up a DMZ, set up a static IP, etc, 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 then you shouldn't really have too much problems with uh, connection. In terms of gameplay, do you feel there's anything overpowered Suns this year? Because normally, like, I know, like, there's always every year there's something's OP. Uh, I know a few years ago, it was like Crossing, wasn't it? Uh, was OP, and then there was the cutback thing from years ago where people would just put wingers as high up the field as they could as close to the corner flags and just rinse at the moment it. i'm not sh at the moment i'm not sure it's necessarily uh user controlled overpowered um mechanics such as through balls or crosses but i do think at the moment the balance between attack and defense i feel as if defensive prowess is uh slightly uh outdoes the balance between that and attacking prowess what, 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 what do you mean? If... Do you mean people can be defensive and, and succeed, or no, not not necessarily defensive. I feel as if um, you don't have to be as good at defending because I feel as if if there was an assistance level for defense, I think the computer provides that uh, a bit more than it does for attacking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, possibly true, possibly true. I, in in short, sure, I, I think defensive prowess is. Potentially higher than it should be. Yeah, you, you, you think the AI is probably doing a bit too much work, basically. Is, is, is I think so, saying? yeah. I think so. Yeah, I mean, I, I can agree with that. Isn't it? But, but I, honestly, I think that that's something that you see with the better players in the game. Uh, not uh, by better players, I mean, you know, when you're using a centre-back who's rated kind of 80. I've seen a little bit of catch-up on this game, actually. A couple of examples. So have I. So have I. Um, but it's I've normally, seen a few examples. Yeah, yeah. But normally it's when so. there is a very very accomplished defender chasing uh, an attacker who isn't that good 
And what will happen is the attacker will kind of take an unnecessary touch uh, so that the defender can catch him. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's quite funny to watch. I, I saw it a few times in online and uh, divisions with uh, Chelaney caught me the other day. I couldn't believe it. And I was with a quick striker because I don't like to play with slow strikers. Although, obviously, I'm playing with Hosselu at the moment. But, you know, ins and outs. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a well-balanced game, though. Nothing seems too too uh, overpowered or too underpowered. Uh, one of the things I'd like to quickly discuss is the PA. Um, for the people who aren't massive uh, PES fans, they wouldn't really know, but uh, pass assistance, or PA as, as we like to call it, is something that is heavily discussed on forums uh, uh, basically every year because last year the PA was extreme. I mean, it was, even on PA1, PA1 was like, so overpowered, you know, where you're getting players with, you know, 60, 70 uh, passing stats, being able to do 60 yard through balls on their wrong foot, which is just crazy stuff. And it's not what we want to see as Pez fans. We want we want a PA where you're controlling it. And I think this year they have improved that. Um, and PA1 is a lot more realistic than it was last year. What, what do you think, Sons? I, I think PA1 plays a nice game, actually, yeah. Last year nice there was game, yeah. loads of loads of errant passes uh, without rhyme or reason, you know, but this year I've not really experienced passes going astray unless I've overcooked them or undercooked them, you know, or put a bit too much angle on them, which is uh, completely the opposite to last year where you would have some random passes, as I say, for no rhyme or reason. What I do have a problem with, though, however, is uh, the insistence on including PA1, uh, I beg your pardon, PA2 and PA3. Um, as, a, as, a, as an ardent my, my club player, as, uh, as you probably will have gathered, excuse me as I take a swig of my coffee, as an ardent my club player, as you will have gathered, I often find myself coming up against PA2 and PA3 players uh, despite using the pass assist filter. Uh, I'm a PA1 player myself, and it's evident because uh, the way people are able to zip the ball about and ping pong it around with minimal input, minimal uh, uh, consideration given to the direction the player is facing, and general general things you would have to take into account on PA1 uh, seem less of an issue on uh, PA1, uh, PA2 and PA3, and it becomes a game of mechanics rather than football, and I find that really, really annoying to face, and uh, really, really annoying that they insist on keeping that option in the game year on year. What are your thoughts on the uh, other PAs, uh, Rambo? Oh, yeah, I think it's bullshit. I think basically what they've done is they've included retard mode. Um, and I think PA1 is heavily assisted anyway. I mean, honestly, Definitely. Like, if, if Definitely. you look at our past completion in this game, we're both rocking around 85%. I mean, do we need any more assistance than that? At what, at what point are you just fucking that slow that you need more assistance than being able to complete 85% of your passes. Uh, it ruins the game. I think it should be taken out of the game. I think it should be PA1 or manual. Um, and I, w I would even be an advocate of toning down PA1 slightly as well. Uh, j just a touch. I, I, mean, I think they did get about right this year, but honestly, like PA2 and PA3, Jesus, like, it's not necessary. It's not needed. It's not wanted. Um, and one thing I'd like to see them include is if they insist on putting in PA2 and PA3 in the game, could you give us an indicator that somebody's using it? Could you just put a colour on it? You know what I mean? Different colour bar for the retards? Do you know what I mean? If you're coming or, against somebody on PA3, give them a red power bar when they uh, pass the ball so you know that they're a full retard. Then you can send them an or, abusive message after the game. Or make the filters work, you know? If, you're gonna, if, if you insist on uh, including a filter, at least make sure the filter... Is effective because if I'm playing on PA1, I'd like to play another PA1 player. You know. Yes. Yes. Essentially. So when I put the filter habit, on so. for that, when I put the filter on for that, at least make sure that you're filtering out PA2 and PA3 for me, please. An army. Cheers. Yeah, I, I think that that's the thing with Konami, isn't it? Is they they do so much right, but they do, you know, kind of they do do a lot of things wrong, and you know. I suppose that's our job as a community to do it. And I've always been one of the people where I moan a lot, but I'm kind of moaning to you. And, you know, no offence, it's fuck all you can do about it, son. Do you know what I mean? So maybe we need to start getting Twitter campaigns up and, you know, about this kind of stuff. But I've, I think I've seen a lot of the YouTubers play on PA2. And, you know, if, if you're trying to take 
tips on the gameplay uh, of somebody who's on PA2, I mean, honestly, you're going the wrong way about it. Because if you're on PA2, you can't be giving tips to anyone. That's just my opinion. Oh, Hossalu. Well, what a bad miss. Yeah. No, well, it was Morales. Well, I, I, yeah, he, I've seen bumped. some of the Pez League. I've seen some of the Pez League games on uh, on Twitch, I believe, uh, and then uploaded to YouTube afterwards. And the supposed pros are playing on PA3. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's embarrassing. And it's embarrassing for them and it's embarrassing for Konami that, you know, they've created a game that where, where you know, you, you can just change something that makes the game easier for you to the point where you can become a very competitive player uh, through through something that isn't skill-based, you know, and, uh, you know, it grinds my gears. Uh, anyway, enough about that, because we could talk about that all day. I think we should move on as well. Point, I think yeah. we should move on as well. Um, licenses, sons. Absolutely, you fucking bum. Um, yeah, so the licensing issue, and this is something I want to talk about uh, briefly. Some of you FIFA bums out there are going to be kind of moving over to Pez, hopefully, see seeing the light, seeing the light at the end of a, a very dark tunnel. And uh, some of you won't, and the ones that won't normally is because of licensing issues. Oh, you don't have the real kits, etc., etc., etc. Listen, motherfuckers, it's, you're playing a game, man, honestly, and now you can get a media file, it takes 10 minutes if you're not retarded, and you can just upload all the kits, and you've got all the kits, and it's not an issue. They have uh, obviously got a little bit more licenses this year. They got the Danish League, they got the Scottish League, um, they got a few more, I think, uh, Turkish League as well, the, uh, Swiss League as well, was it, I think I saw? Unlucky. Yeah, they've got nine new licenses, uh, ranging from uh, Swiss to the Colombian League, uh, fully, fully authentic uh, Argentine division. So they've made an effort. And uh, do you know what? I know us in England, uh, we're not seeing the benefits of that. But for Latin America, for other places in Europe where they've now acquired these licenses, I think that's a big deal for Konami. They know they can't compete with EA. They know they can't compete with FIFA. So they're going after markets that FIFA doesn't uh, dominate. And I think that's that's what the underdog has to do, you know. They have to find different ways to stay in the fight. And look, I'm, I'm all for, uh, I'm all for uh, you know, expanding horizons because, uh, as, as a few will know, I'm, I'm not just a Premier League fan, I'm, I'm, I'm a global football fan. And for me, the inclusion of other leagues is uh is a good thing is a step in the right direction even if it might not necessarily appeal to uh our user base here in the uk you know yeah yeah i agree with that i mean i i think the licensing thing something that people make too much of honestly and as as somebody who, in, I, I who enjoys gameplay of pez uh i'm never gonna not buy a game because it hasn't got a real kit on it or it hasn't got a license on it you know they've got all the real names of the players and Something that is important for me is uh, we might not have the real kits, but we've got the players actually do what they're supposed to do. We have player ID, which is something that FIFA's never had. Every player feels different. Rambo, Rambo. Yes. How about the faces? Have you yeah. seen the faces? I have the quality seen the faces, of the faces. I've seen the faces, yeah. Although the faces I'm on blimp, mate, so I can barely fucking see them, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I mean, the quality of the faces. Yeah, man, it's quality, and, man. And, I saw, and, I saw and, that like Beckham, man. Player even, ID. Yeah. I know, I know a guy at work who's a FIFA bum man and he's like all, all over this Beckham face. Oh, you're sitting the graphics on the new Pez. It's fucking brilliant. And you're like, yeah, I know, mate. It's, it's quality. I mean, uh, overall, overall, what do you think this game now. looks like? I mean, it looks... It does look great, doesn't it? I mean... Oh, fantastic. It, fantastic. Like, I'm, I'm playing on Blimp, man, but I, I, I look at the, the, the pitch and the, the detail and the, the way the players run and obviously we've already spoke about the ball physics but the game just looks incredible honestly it's boner inducing um and i, I think pez has come so far in the last three or four years honestly it really has it really has come a long way you know i got back into pez about 2014 and the only reason i did it was just so i could give one of my mates a few beatdowns go take him back to school like i always used to um that's all it Trucker yeah, troubles, trucker troubles. Yeah, it was the trucker, trucker troubles, trucker troubles. Um, yeah, and I, I did. I gave him beatdowns all year. But, I mean, if you look how far we've come in these three or four years, man, it's just incredible. And I think that this is the best football game ever made. Um, that That's just my opinion. What do you think, Sons? Would you would you go with the best game ever made? Or are you, do you still have reservations? Um, so it's, a, it's a big title. It's a heavy... It's a, oh, here we go. Ooh. What a miss. Yeah, it's, uh, that's what happens when you play a centre-back. It's a big claim, accident. big statement. 
But I, I think, yeah, I think I would agree with that because I thought 2018 probably was that game, and this is an advancement on that. I'd call this Pez 2018 and a half though because I don't think it's drastic enough uh, in terms of changes to call it a new game. But I yeah, do think that the what they have done is they've refined 2018, and that's not a bad thing. Yeah, they've certainly it's sorted out things. a lot of the issues, haven't they? Which is uh, things which like is, player switching, player switching. Yeah, was horrible players, last yeah, year. player switching was disgusting, wasn't it? Just going to float out to Jocelyn. There we are. People say you can't head the ball this year, but I tell you what, when you've got a 70 rated scripter with pinpoint crossing flowing in there to uh, six foot three Hosselu, you've always got a chance. Uh, knows like that, he's always sniffing out the goals. Yeah, no, the uh, best game ever. Um, and I know some people will watch this review and go, you've been here 20 minutes and then you just tell us it's the best game ever. Well, yeah, we have told you it's the best game ever, but we're, we're trying to talk about everything Pez related. And I think basically this channel this year is going to be a massive, massive series of tutorials. I have a team together in place who are all uh, eight, nine hundred, a thousand rated on my club who are going to help you become the best players you can be and enjoy the game more because nobody enjoys the games when you're getting beat downs. And um, yeah, we're going to help uh, the players who are maybe three or four hundred rated come 500 600 rated and the players at 600 rated can't seem to get that breakthrough into the 800s we're going to help you get there as well uh, one more thing I want to talk about briefly is the things that they have improved and one of them so we've already discussed the PA they've improved PA1 in my opinion they've also improved um, game mode my club looks better uh, they've improved licenses we've got a few more this season one of the big things for me is rails uh, last year, sometimes your players would just be running in a direction and you wouldn't be able to change direction because it was like there was kind of half half computer control, do you know what I mean? Oh, um, and they, they've they stopped that this year. Are oh, you fucking bitch. Yeah, they, they've stopped that this year and that's Sucking another good thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for you guys who are going to see these tutorials, what you'll see is Sonzi is an incredible player, but he fucks about at the back. So that's... Uh, <laughs> that's something that's something not to do uh, if you're ever playing Pez online. Although you can probably get away with it against some some people. They're not going to punish you like I didn't punish him then, to be honest. Um, the element of surprise. Most people don't expect it. We play each other enough, you know, for you to yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, I know what's, I know what's going to happen. The element of surprise. Happen, oh, look at that. A massive fuck up. And that's what I mean. That, that was a good thing on PA1 is that Hoof, obviously with his wrong foot, has just blindly passed that. And, you know, the ball went exactly where it should have went, which is to Sunzi in a dangerous position because I fucked about with the wrong player at the wrong time. And on PA2, that would have just ended up to his striker. <laughs> ended up to my striker, sorry. Um, what a save. What an incredible save. Oh, who's done well there, though, look. And this is where I'm dangerous. Look, I'm going to just break, and I'm just going to break Sunzi's spirit and will here, I think, on the break. Uh so yeah we've got tutorials coming all year hopefully you've enjoyed this review basically i'm going to say it's the best football game ever uh, i think sonji agrees with me probably um should be maybe there could have been a few more changes but we'll go into them at a later point there are still issues with the game but i mean they've made a great game we'll see we've got patches on the way as well so we'll see what they do in the patches um and we will discuss at later points what does need changing um we'd like you to like uh, this video we'd like you to subscribe to this video We'd also like you to join us on Pro Evo Network if you're ever around. Uh, we're always in parties as well. We're not like uh, unaccessible. If you fancy playing one of us, just add us on PSN and give us a game, man. Um, we're not infallible. We're not unbeatable at this game either. So, you know, if you play us, we, we, we just want a fun game as well. It's not like, you know, don't feel like you have to play us and play, you know, a 4 2 4 and rinse and repeat and try and, you know, yeah, I beat Rambo and Sons. You know what I mean? That's, that's not how we play. We play the game for fun. Um, so yeah, feel free to join us uh, on the on the site, and feel free to play us, and feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, guys.